and I am back. Hopefully this is working now. I had to restart my computer, but uh, for those watching after the fact, I just had a bit of an issue with the live stream, but everything should hopefully be sorted now. Uh, I am going to get straight into these problems I had prepared, um, regardless of what's going on at the moment. I'll get through some maths problems and, um, you know, why not? Just do some maths. So, I've already read through this question, but I'm going to read through it, through it again um, just to kind of start afresh. So this question says, a company has to make large a large number of boxes. The company has six machines. All the machines work at the same rate. When all the machines are working, they can make all the boxes in nine days. The table gives the number of machines working each day. So the number, number of machines working on day one is three, day two is four, day three is five, and all the other days there are six machines working. We need to work out the total number of days taken to make all of the boxes. Okay, so we're going to think about this in terms of machine days. Uh, someone's asking about IGCSE. I'm not sure about IGCSE at this point. I can't comment on that. So, getting into this maths problem. Uh, we're talking about machine days. So if six machines are working for nine days, well, there's one machine working for nine days, that would be nine machine days. Two machines working for nine days, that would be 18 machine days. So we've got six times nine. This will give us 54 machine days of work to make the total number of boxes. Um, and then... Uh, I'll get into some of those questions after I get through this question. Uh, and then, well, 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 let's look at, um, let's look at day one here. If we've got three machines working on day one, and then four machines working on day two, and then uh, five machines working on day three, well, let's add those up. This would be seven plus five is 12 uh, machine days of work uh, in those three days okay and then how many uh, machine days do we have left to complete this order of large boxes well we need to do 54 take 12 that would be 42 machine days and uh, that needs to be completed in uh, the rest of the days where six machines are working. Uh, so for to work that out, well if we've got six machines working each day, that would be six machine days per day. So we need to do 42 divided by six to get the number of days. That's going to be seven more days. So the total number of days then, this is the first three days plus those extra seven days. So total would be seven plus three is 10 days. Okay, so that is a, a work rate problem. I'll do a, more, a couple of more, I can't speak anymore. I'll do a couple more examples in a minute, but uh, there's a few There's a few questions here. Um, so, uh, yet yeah, the exams have been announced to not be happening in May and June as planned. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's kind of all a little bit unsure at the moment. Okay, uh, welcome Josh, welcome Minaj, welcome uh, Arjun, Wahab. Mr. AM Gaming says most likely predictor grades. Yes, that is probably the most likely uh, thing to happen at this point, but again, we're still not sure. Welcome, True Warrior. Should you still revise? I would say at this point, this week, I would, you know, sit back and maybe, maybe just um, kind of, well, I know it's hard to relax, but maybe try to relax or try to just take the opportunity to take some time for yourself. 
Minaj says uh, they're going to send a hard copy. Oh, is that for IGSSEs? Okay, so that might be happening. I couldn't comment on, on the international GCSE. Okay. Um, yeah, I wouldn't stop working right now until there's more information given by the exam board. It's exactly, exactly. Uh, so I'm trying to kind of monitor the news at this point as well uh, to see if there's anything more today. I guess there won't be anything more announced today, but there could be, you know, there's sometimes they announce these things on Twitter, etc. So, you know, there might be someone from one of the exam boards make, makes a comment, but you never know. But yeah, I guess the main thing is GCSEs and A levels cancels, and that's straight from the PM. And obviously, schools shut next week. Is there a chance that we will have to do them in September? Why would using project predicted grades be beneficial over rescheduling for next year? Good question. I'm not sure why it would be beneficial.